Thanks, you guys. My name is Rhea Butcher. It's not a fake name. It's funny because it's true. I'm butcher than all of you. I like by a lot, too. I'm really bringing it tonight. <laughs> when I got to my hotel earlier, the valet came running out and he was out of breath. He was like, oh my God, oh, thank God you're here. We have a bunch of manual transmission cars. <laughs> and none of us can drive them. Please help us. And I was like, how many you got, 10? I'll do two at a time, let's get this thing done. <laughs> I love having this last name, uh, Butcher, because I am a lifetime vegetarian <laughs> with the last name Butcher. I've had that irony my entire life, but not too much iron in my diet. Just very, very weak. Honestly, don't even know how I'm standing here right now. <laughs> my muscles are just made out of sunflower seeds and hope. <laughs> I can't wear a Fitbit, it just counts wishes. <laughs> it's pointless. I stayed a vegetarian because I like animals a lot. I, I still love them, which is so silly because like if I ran into a lion and I was like, hey, I think you're cool, that lion would not care. <laughs> but I do like animals, so I decided to have one in my life again. I got a puppy a couple years ago. And I come from a long line of cat people. This is my first dog, long line of cat people. Um, and I still love cats. It's just that I didn't know you could have an animal that would appreciate you. <laughs> at all. <laughs> And he's great, he's a little uh, terrier chihuahua mix. He's the best, we have the same political views, so it's perfect. <laughs> but as a lifetime vegetarian, I'm running into some conflict raising him, because I have to buy him these very specific toys to get him through his day, something called a pizzle stick. Now, for the people that are not laughing immediately at that, it's because that is like a clever marketing term for a dried bull's penis. <laughs> That is something I purchase with money that I earn at a job. I go into a store, I open a bin, I pick out a dried bull's penis, and I make sure to get a good one because I know what size he likes. But I'm just, I'm conflicted as this lifetime vegetarian with this dog because to me, it's like, it's honestly, it's like I have a, had a baby and that baby is crying. So I took another baby's penis and I dried it. And then I gave it to my baby to make him feel better. But it all works out because when I give it to him, I, I throw it and I just yell, eat a dick, and it's fine. So it all works out in the end. I was born this way, I've always been gay, came out super gay, just had this haircut already. <laughs> I've, always I've always known, I feel like a lot of people have always known, but you know, it's just, it's a process, you gotta figure it out. And when I was a kid, um, my mom would take me to the mall. At the time I had a, a little bob haircut because it was 1991 and Silence of the Lambs was all the rage. <laughs> and my mom would take me to the mall that she worked at, she worked at Joanne Fabrics. I was raised among the remnants, you know? And so we'd go to the mall to hang out, and we'd like run into one of her friends or something, and they'd be like, oh my God, is that your daughter? She's so cute. And she'd be like, oh yes, this is my daughter. This is her, she's adorable. And that friend would be like, you know what? She looks a lot like Jodie Foster. <laughs> and then my mom would be like, oh yeah, it's the haircut. And then that friend would be like, no. <laughs> it's something else. But despite this rockadoodle haircut and this off-duty lesbian tractor mechanic outfit I have on, <laughs> it did take me a while to come out to my family, I think for a couple of reasons. I'm from Ohio originally, which I like to call the thinking man's Indiana. <laughs> it's a little better. Being from Ohio, a lot of my family are hillbillies, myself included. Uh, and you might be like, how hillbilly could you possibly be? Well, you know that phrase, shooting fish in a barrel? I've done that. It is not as easy as you think. That's it for me, you guys. Thanks so much. <laughs>